Hi, today we're introducing the new topic of projectile motion. So this video is just an introduction to projectile motion or 3D kinematics, or 2D kinematics, sorry. Um, <clears throat> remember that kinematics word just means description of motion. So we're describing the motion of projectiles. That's, that's the goal. Um, so projectile motion in two dimensions, both up and down and sideways, so forward and backward. The good news about this topic is that we're using the same equations that we did with linear motion. So the same five equations, the three basic ones and the two power tools and the acceleration due to gravity, we're using those same uh, equations. So if you weren't comfortable with them before, hopefully by the end of this you will be comfortable with them and that's, that's a good thing. And there are only a couple of new ideas that we need to add uh, to linear motion. So that's the good news about studying projectile motion. Some cool labs will do it along the way as well. Let's define what a projectile is uh, in this class. So for us, a projectile <clears throat> is a moving object which is only under the influence of gravity. In other words, that object is in free fall. Remember how we define free fall as something moving only under the influence of gravity? Except um, in the last chapter, it was in free fall and only moved up and down. But now we're going to have things moving up and down and sideways simultaneously. So examples of projectiles would be, um, say, an arrow or a bullet that's fired, a basketball or any kind of ball that you throw or any other object that you throw. You'll see me throwing my keys in class probably a lot because they're convenient. Uh, they're always on my belt loop. Non-projectiles includes things that are powered. So airplanes, helicopters, rockets. These are not projectiles because there's another force acting on those objects, birds or flying insects or bats or whatnot. Um, there's another force acting on those objects other than gravity. Either the wings are pushing the air or uh, there's a rocket engine or a rotor blade uh, that's turning something like that. So we'll be dealing with uh, lots of things that are thrown, projected uh, into the air. There's a classic physics question that's always asked, I think, by every physics teacher uh, to every physics student. And the question goes like this. Imagine that we have a horizontally aimed rifle, maybe you're shooting targets, and at the instant the bullet emerges from the barrel, at the instant the bullet comes out of the barrel, another identical bullet, same mass, same shape, is dropped from the same height that the bullet emerges from the barrel. And the question that's always asked of new physics students is which bullet reaches the ground first? Is it the one that's fired or is it the one that's dropped? So uh, the rifle bearer's here shooting the bullet, another one's dropped at the same instant. Um, is it the fired bullet or the dropped bullet? Ask yourself that question, what, what makes the best sense to you? Uh, is it the one that's fired that hits the ground first because it's going faster? Is it the one that's dropped that hits the ground first because it covers a shorter distance? Um, what, which one is it for you? What do you think? Well, amazingly, they both hit the ground at the same time. It's kind of a trick question. Um, if you have trouble believing it, or even if you do believe it, you might like these videos. Uh, so I'll, I'll lean out and you can pause it here uh, if you want to copy those down in your browser and, and switch to those videos here for a minute. I'm going to try to link them uh, underneath the video as well so that you can just click on them. But I wanted to make sure that I at least had them on here in case uh, that didn't work. Um, <clears throat> three different videos. One's a, a really short one in a classroom. Another one's a, a slightly longer one, uh, but bigger scale, where some, some object is projected and one is dropped. And then the Mythbusters, if you're familiar with that show on the Discovery Channel, um, they actually did it full scale with a gun um, <clears throat> and, and another bullet that was dropped. So. Uh, you can check that out at the bottom. After you've seen those, come back for the last slide, which is uh, the, the big key idea for projectile motion, and that is that the vertical and the horizontal motion are completely independent of one another. We can analyze them in, independently. Um, just because an object is moving sideways doesn't mean that gravity pulls any harder on it or any less hard on it. Uh, it, the Earth doesn't know that it's moving sideways, right? It's still pulling down on that object the same way. And so we can separate those components, those horizontal and vertical components, analyze them separately, and then figure out what's going on, which we'll, we'll discuss uh, in the coming videos.